from circuit boards and electronic components that end up in some Apple products, to patio furniture and plenty of other things, a lot of the goods we use every day are produced in China. And those factories have been getting messages from the local government that there's not enough electricity. And a lot of cities have had blackouts. Restrictions came quite unexpected. We're allowed to work during restricted hours, which was mostly at night. Right now, China is facing its biggest power crisis in more than a decade, which is leading to power outages and temporary factory closures in one of the world's largest manufacturing hubs. If Chinese factories continue having problems getting electricity, there could be ripple effects around the world. And the main problem is coal. China is the world's biggest consumer of the dirty fossil fuel, and its dependency on it is exposing some pain points in the country's transition to a greener future, while threatening to delay how quickly we'll be able to get our Made in China products. To keep manufacturing hubs running and the lights on for citizens, China needs a lot of power. And last year, about 60% of it came from burning coal. But recently, this demand has soared. China recovered from the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic much earlier than other economies. So as a result, it has been producing and exporting more goods, which require a lot more electricity usage. Its factories ramped up to make components for iPhones and video game gadgets that consumers in the West wanted while stuck at home. But China hasn't been able to source enough coal from domestic producers because there's been safety issues in coal mines and anti-corruption probes. Plus, flooding in one of China's coal mining provinces is also threatening the supply. At the same time, importing hasn't been easy either. They have imposed this unofficial ban on Australian coal imports, one of the uh, usual sources that they would go to for coal. Since late last year, China has barred coal from Australia, after Canberra called for an independent global inquiry into the origins of COVID-19. So China has had to find other suppliers in Indonesia and Mongolia. But sourcing has been getting more difficult because now other parts of the world are beginning to emerge from the pandemic too. And there's not enough coal to go around. So right now, coal prices have climbed to their highest level in a decade. And so when coal prices climb higher, it really disincentivizes power plants in China from generating more power, even if the demand is there. That's because until very recently, Government rules prevented power producers from passing on higher costs to customers. So instead of firing up the generators, they've chosen to cut down production. All this has led to widespread power shortages in China. It's also affected factories like this one in the southern manufacturing hub of Guangdong. We'd have to adapt ourselves to, to these restrictions. Thomas Bergers manages this patio furniture factory. He says since early August, he's been receiving text messages from the local government asking to restrict power usage. They send daily message. They give a specific period where you are allowed to work in. And yeah, then we will have to adjust our production schedule. So his factory had to occasionally close during peak hours and open between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. according to the government's instructions. We didn't have restrictions like uh, that you cannot totally work anymore so that we were still uh, be able to continue our production. But several other companies haven't been so lucky, including several Apple suppliers. Concraft, an electronic component supplier, said it had to temporarily suspend production for about five days. Esson Precision, which supplies mechanical parts, and Uni Micron Technology, which makes printed circuit boards, also stopped production for about five days. Apple didn't respond to a request for comment. Meanwhile, more than 10 chip-related companies in China's eastern city of Kunshan said they temporarily closed their facilities for about five days at the end of September. Bruges says he continues to get messages from the government about whether the factory can use power normally. For now, production is back on schedule, but he says he's prepared to shut down at a moment's notice. The chance is always there. I have learned that in China you have to cooperate with a certain flexibility. The rules are set. It is what it is. That's what we have to do. And that cooperation will be important because Beijing has set itself a big climate goal. China will in the year 2030 to make that happen, China has been using a target. Electricity use must grow at a lower rate than GDP. But in the first half of this year, electricity use rose more than GDP. 
and hitting Beijing's target could become more difficult as winter approaches and demands for heating increase. These power outages really show how reliant China is still on coal, despite their push to transition into greener energy sources and curb carbon emissions. And so going into the future, they're going to be forced to balance some goals. To balance these goals, Beijing hinted in mid-October that it would need to rethink its path and pacing for reaching its climate target. China's leadership has said electricity curves for high-energy users such as steel and cement will continue to stay. But to address immediate needs, the country has now stepped up its coal supplies while allowing prices of coal-fired power to increase. With all the unpredictability, factory owners like Burgers are starting to think about how to ensure their own stable power source. We are also considering about the sustainable energy. Can we plant solar panels on our roof? Is there an alternative way of getting energy and besides a, a, a diesel generator? But if in the short run the power crisis in China continues, the impact could hit closer to home. That could weigh on manufacturing activity and economic growth in China, which subsequently could affect the rest of the world. Whether people are going to be able to get their products on time or will even face higher costs for them.